Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to my channel. So today the video is going to be a bit different so I'm going to let you guys into a little bit about me and also about Ilmi Mag which I mentioned is an online magazine that I do. So in the last video I asked you guys to send in some questions via my Ask FM. So these are the questions you guys have asked. Hi Sadi, I have a question for your YouTube video. If you could only have one social media platform, which one would you have? Facebook, Twitter, Instagram or YouTube? That's a very... When I heard that question I was like, oh. It's a really good question because I'm I'm one of those people that have the most and I use them I actually use them I don't they're not sleeping they're not dead I would say Facebook only because I feel like Facebook has a majority of stuff that all the other platforms have yeah hopefully that will never happen but yeah Facebook I'd say you mentioned that you don't want to do videos in hijab or makeup I want to know why you made that choice okay I've had this question quite a lot. I feel like everyone that starts a YouTube channel has a reason to start it, right? With it, within everything that we do, there's a purpose behind it. My reason for starting YouTube videos wasn't for fashion or makeup purposes. And the thing is, I love makeup. I like you can tell. Um, and I've actually used to work on a makeup counter um, and also freelance for a while. So it's nothing to do with me not loving it or like doing it. Also with hijab. Um, I strangely get really bored of hijab style so I always experiment all the time um, hence the lace thing, it's a phase but um, yeah so but the thing is my purpose wasn't to do that if I was to do that it would take away from all the reasons why I wanted to do it which is to kind of help people mentally like everything that I've I learned that or got advice for someone that really helped me to kind of give it back to everyone else yeah that's my only reason like no no judgment or anything against everyone that does do it I just it wasn't my reason for starting a channel and plus there's so many amazing people that have hijab and makeup tutorials like there's no need for more like they're great the next question is salam mio that that made me laugh by the way this isn't someone from your family I just watched your video where you said your family called you that my question for you is what is your favourite month in a year, day of the week, time of the day? You guys have some cool questions. Like, I, I was really impressed with this. First of all, yeah, you called me Mio, so props on that. Favourite month in the year? Well, April, because first it's my birthday. Second, it's not too cold and it's not too hot. It's nice weather. And what is your favourite day of the week? Sundays are always relaxed days for me no matter what I'm doing, and usually Sundays are days that I spend with my family. I just like Sundays, and especially when Downton Abbey comes on. So, and then finally, what time of the day? I don't know, this one's quite hard, because I like mornings. When I wake up early, I'm very happy. What is your favourite movie and your favourite song? I've watched this film like over 100 times and I know every word. If I could, if you asked me to say every word while it's on, I can say it. So it's called A Walk to Remember. I watched it when I was about... 15. It was the first romantic drama that literally made me bawl. Like I was crying. Not even depressing. It was okay. It was kind of, but happy as well. Like it was just beautiful. It's a good film. You should watch it if you haven't seen it. Go and watch it. So, hey, Sally. My question is: Have you met Somalis like you, ambitious, dedicated, male, female? It's not really shown in our community. So would you name any of them? Love Elmi, by the way. Okay, thank you for asking that question because I would say, alhamdulillah, I am surrounded by a lot of amazing Somali male and females. So I'll be doing shout outs right now. Okay, so individuals, I would say Abdukarim, this young boy, he's about 16 and I go on and on about him and he knows that and he gets, he gets annoyed but then I know he truly loves it. Even though he might not think, but whatever whatever his aim is to become, he's working towards it by networking and whenever he meets the right people. Kind of leaves a really good impression. Mohammed Mahmoud, who created the online platform called Somali Sideways. Of course, all my Elaith network people doing amazing work in the community. And tribalism movement, helping so many people from Somalia all over the, uh, the world. Um, I'm sorry if I forgot you and I still love you, whoever. Ugh. Yeah. How long have you been wearing your hijab and jubba? Was it easy when you decided to wear it? Share your story and what your thought process was and how has it been since? I'm a Muslim girl from Pakistan and I am thinking about wearing an abaya and would love to hear your story. I'm happy you asked this question. 
because it's something that I kind of wanted to do a whole video on. I was able to to start wearing a hijab at a young age and continue to wearing that hijab until now. But my abaya, I started wearing it my 18th birthday. I remember. Um, and the reason why I started to wear an abaya was not because of my family and not because of any other influence. I actually remember my sister started wearing it a year before me and I remember people kept saying to me, when are you going to wear it? Um, and I always was against doing something for other people's influence because I feel like if you're not there mentally, then you won't be consistent and you might struggle. It has to be something with, that's within you and something that the step that you take and you're content with it and the moment I wore it I just felt this sense of pride I felt pure um, and I felt beautiful and not beautiful like oh look at me beautiful but inside like in how I felt and alhamdulillah from then till now even when I go to the corn shop I throw in my abaya next question do you find it hard being a good Muslim in a Western country? Does what happening in the media affect you in any way? And what would you advise Muslims living in countries like yourself? Okay, this, this is a good question, especially what's happening in the media right now. Um, I feel like every time we get back up, something knocks us down in the media. I've never been the type to think about or make excuses for my hijab or me being a Muslim. I've never thought of it as a problem. I know it's not a problem, but I mean like to other people. The best way to explain it is that I actually lived in a bubble. Like I'd leave my house, go to work. I, it's like all the craziness, people thinking, oh, look at that Muslim. I wouldn't even care or think about it. If someone looked at me in a dirty way, I'd probably think that they just, I don't know, don't like my outfit. It's just, it just never crossed my mind at first until after a while I kind of was verbally abused. Um, and that kind of knocked me down a little bit and it made me kind of paranoid when I used to go out and stuff. But I kind of grew through that and now I'm back to where I was. But I just think you shouldn't make excuses for yourself. You shouldn't let other people bother you. Just live a certain way where you feel like this is my life. This is my country as much as it is theirs. I'm going to get on the same train as you, the same bus as you. I don't care what you think. And because you make it easy on yourself, no one else can make it hard for you. Those are the questions that I received. Um, I quite liked them. They were quite different. Some of them were quite smart and others were quite deep. And I think it's important to talk about deep issues. So I'm going to swiftly move on to talking about Elmi Mag. Those of you who don't know, Elmi Mag is an online magazine which is kind of directed at Somali young people all around the world. So Elmi's my little baby, it's um, something that's really near and dear to my heart. So the aim of Elmi is to unite Somali young people all around the world and for them to share their successes, their stories, their experiences and to hopefully motivate other Somali young people through their achievements. The way Elmi works is young people send in, send in their articles, um, the editors check them so to see if everything's just in the right place and then it goes up. It gives young people the chance to kind of share their stories and their thoughts. Also another point about Elmi that I wanted to bring up is we actually had a lot of people kind of requesting on Twitter can you do an internship program with Saturday? I thought okay I'll put together some roles so I had researchers and also editors and now we've got about 11 interns so the team's grown alhamdulillah. Um, little shout out to my interns. <laughs> Uh, yeah, surprisingly we've only got females, so the whole Elmi team right now is girls. Where are the guys? Like, come on. If you guys want to check out the job description for the internships, I'm going to put them below and all the information about Elmi. Let me know if you guys want to be updated on what's going on in Elmi. If you guys want that to be a video that I continuously do. I feel like I gave you guys a brief information about what Elmi is. If you guys want to find out more, links to the website, social media, everything's below. That's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any requests for videos for me to do, make sure you guys put it in the comments or ask me on my ask if and all the descriptions in the box. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Inshallah, until next time. Assalamu alaikum.